Hi, my name's Ryan, and this is part two of the making a advanced HTML page in Notepad tutorial. Um, last time we left off with the CSS, and I said we were going to do the content. But one thing I need to show you is I've changed just one part of the CSS, which is on the content. Add this line here: background equals hash nine three a five c four semicolon. Just add that line of code there, and it'll make it a little bit better. So, we ended with the close head tag, so now I want to open the body. Then what we want to do is a div tag, which is like a group, which we have already set up in the CSS. So, we have set them as classes, so it's called container. Container, you may have remembered that from the thing. So through after the container, you want to put another one. You want to put the sidebar one in there. And then after the sidebar one, you want to add the links. It's going to be like a little nav bar. Then you want to add the different ones. So that is just one. Let's put about four. So two, three, four. So yeah, after that one, we want to close off the UL tag. And then put a paragraph tag, which is a P, which makes it slightly bit bigger than the rest. Content for the sidebar goes here. Then don't forget to close the paragraph. Then that's the end of the sidebar, so we'll just slash div. Closes the div tag. And now we'll move on to the content tag, content div where we won't have much except for a header the headers go up in numbers so it goes from h1 to h6 and if at the higher the number is the large the smaller the text is so h1 main content slash h1 put a quick paragraph saying the main content for the page goes here Um, then that should be the end of that div tag for the content, but we still need to close the div tag for the container, so we'll close that. Then we can close the body tag. Then we can close the HTML tag. Um, that's really it. Oh, forgot the slash. That is really it. So, um, file, save as. Let me just see if I can find the file. Yeah, I could find the file somewhere. Here it is. And it was on my desktop. Let me just pop it in here. This is what the page will look like. Because I've shrunk my thing to make it fit in, it looks a lot different. But on yours, it should look better. Change the colours. Please change colours if you don't like these colours. And as you, as di I said that they'd light up, they'd like when you go over them, then they'd hover, whatever. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's been the tutorial. Look out next time where in the next tutorial we'll be telling you how to make a full website using Notepad and HTML, and we'll also be setting up a server so you can upload them onto an actual website. Uh, so see you then. Bye.